everyone, and welcome to the Gaming Outside My Comfort Zone Holiday Special! Today, we're going to look back at some highlights from the previous episodes from this year. I've picked some of my favorite moments and included some moments submitted by viewers. And I'm going to take this opportunity to thank everyone who contributed. We're going to start out with Episode 1, Limbo. Kind of a fun game, made my heart race a little bit. Uh, definitely a lot of laughing involved. Um, so this next clip you're about to see is basically my first encounter with the steel traps that are in Limbo and the mayhem and laughter that occurs afterwards. Check it out. And jump! <laughs> I'm going to hell! That is the best thing ever. Snap! That'd be awesome to watch. It's how many times I have my head snapped off. There we go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I really like being snapped in half by that. Okay, so come right up to this one, grab it, pull it away, clean up the face, and jump. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Sneak up on it. Don't cut my head off. Jump! Yes! Oh, that was fun. In a weird sort of way. And now, we've got a fan clip already. And this one is from Steve Erdley at Steve Boost on Twitter. And he basically said, genuine spider fear. And he's right. Take a look. Oh my god, 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 holy crap, holy f, holy f, holy f, oh, I'm swearing, I'm not meaning to swear, oh jeez, oh, oh, I've got a lure it over here, oh god, I don't want to lure it over here, oh Jesus, no. I am really scared of spiders, and that actually was a pretty epic funny moment. It goes on for a little while. I win in the end. Thank you, Steve, for submitting your clip. And now, we move on to Episode 2, Dead Rising 2, Zombrek's Edition. This game kind of was defeating for me. There were some fun moments in it, some not-so-fun moments in it, mainly because I would die and go back to a bathroom. But, after watching it again, this next moment, it was so obvious, I had to pick it. Take a look. Go! Oh, uh, right trigger for gas! Right trigger for gas! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? Woohoo! Doing tricks! I don't even know how we're doing that! Yeah! 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 Get it! Get it! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Lordy! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Uh, I probably should be. Oh, I'm second place! Woohoo! Get them all! Get them all! Woo-wee! I don't even know what I'm doing half the time! This is awesome! Yeah, get the zombies! Woohoo! Ooh, that was a fancy trick! Yay! Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes, this is awesome! Wee! Yes! Oh, gosh, yes, giddy. I don't even know what those guys with the lollipops in their heads are for. Awesome, 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 awesome. Yes, no, no, I'm in third place. I'm in third place. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> and that's pretty much sums up the game. 
Once I learned the crafting, it got a little bit more fun. Especially when you can make really cool things out of random things. I love that sledgehammer. That was my favorite. And now, on to episode three, Defense Grid, The Awakening. I gotta say, I wasn't a big tower defense person. This was probably my second tower defense game I've ever played. The first being Crystal Defenders. That was pretty fun. Pretty easy, you just load everything up and then kill everything. This one, a little bit more strategy, and I'm not a strategist, that well, I'm not good at strategy. But, I do love lasers, and this next clip is going to basically show you the awesomeness of the laser. Take a look. Oh, oh, it did Indiana Jones! Freaking Indiana Jones, these things! And of course that laser is awesome, especially when we upgrade it. Kind of an annoying game, but I liked it. Now we move on to episode four, Prototype. Again, it's a third person. I don't play third persons that well. I actually don't play third persons that often. The only other third person I played would be Overlord or Overlord 2, but I have minions that I can send out to do my bidding. And they come back and bring me stuff. This, I actually have to go do my own bidding. This one was kind of difficult. There were some moments that were, you know, do I want this one or this one? But I had to basically go with, I'm a burly character. I'm pretty freaking scary. I can do crazy things stuff's happened to me but instead of being all bleh I'm like apologizing to people on the street take a look carefully answer oh so casual sorry 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 try not to be Cutty McCutcherson Dick bag, McDicky bags. Don't walk too close to me, lady. I'll push you. Wow, he's like Dick bag, McDicky bags. Sorry, sorry. I'm a douchebag. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. God. Ah, train. It's user submitted clip time. This one was submitted by Adam Johnston at AJHeretic666 on Twitter. And it's basically me versus tanks. And obviously, there's only one solution. Check it out. What? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Hulk smash! Yes! Hulk smash! 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 I, oh, I smashed it! Okay, stop smashing it, dude. Ah! Hulk smash! Oh. Thanks, Adam. That was a great choice. You can also check out Adam Johnston at the Subdude Podcast. We'll give you a little bit more info about everybody at the end. Okay. Next episode is episode five, Hydrophobia. This game ooh, was definitely different. It's fun in places. It's a lot of jumping and climbing and dying many times. There's also a random Wilhelm scream. <laughs> I think it would have been funnier if it would have been a random goat scream. <laughs> but that's just me. And the game was kind of predictable. You, s you see a bomb, you know it's gonna blow up. You hear beep, 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 and it's gonna, something's gonna blow up. And of course, it's gonna be on an elevator. So, this next clip is predictability and me making fun of it. Take a look. Boom! Oh, 
Jump up, jump up! Get down! Jump, 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 jump! With your bad accent! Bad accent, you weird clothes. Now, we're gonna be starting the October Halloween Fest. I'm talking about episode 6, Dead Island. Definitely the beginning of my zombie phase, mainly in October. My favorite moment was kind of at the beginning, after I got to have a music video and, you know, passing out in my room, waking up, being like, what? Oh, what are these screams? So, the only way I could figure to keep me calm and adjust myself to the moment was basically to go around stealing everybody's stuff and keeping it and having a pile and sitting on it. Haven't gotten that far yet. Don't have a pile. But we'll see. So take a look. Oh yeah. I am so wealthy. I am going to be the richest person on this island. Alcohol, hey. I am going to be the drunkest richest person on this island. Yes. We've got another fan submission. This one again is from Steve Erdley at Steve Boost on Twitter. And it's basically just a look. Just a look. That I get after I defeat a zombie. Punch you! I punch you! I punch you in your stupid, stupid zombie private parts. Steve Boost actually says in his tweet, the look your mom gives you after you punch the female zombie in its forgot the term you used. Well, Steve, here it is again, just for you. Stupid, stupid zombie private parts. That was actually a really fun episode, especially since I had my mom sitting in with me for Dead Island. She got more scared than what I did. I got pretty scared. She got pretty scared. It was pretty fun. I definitely would play that again. Now, we come to the classic survival horror game. And everybody has at least played some form of this game. I'm talking about Resident Evil 4. This game kind of has some special moments for me. Mainly because Tyson would play it and I would actually be lulled to sleep by it. Just, you know, <laughs> thank you. I don't know, zombies screaming and merchants cackling seem to lull me to sleep. I'm weird. But that's okay. And this game was kind of intense. I, you know, people were coming after me. I kept dying a lot. But I didn't mind dying. Because I got really good at that beginning part. And once I was able to get past that beginning part, I would trek my way through the woods, see a building. It's got icky gross stuff in it. Kill more zombies. Trek my way down. Find another building. And I was not expecting this at all. Because everybody was usually, you know, either outside and I could see them and the music would start and I'd be like, ah, music's starting, something's gonna come and try to kill me. Or they'd be like, wah! And I'd be like, ah, there's somebody coming to get me. So I was not expecting this next moment. Check it out. I'm gonna go hide in a building. There's a door. They can't come to me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You suck. You're not telling me about that. And finally, to end our month of zombie games and the official Halloween episode of Gaming Outside My Comfort Zone, we're talking about Left for Dead, episode 8. And I had 
my husband Tyson with me, where we played co-op, which is pretty fun. Usually Tyson and I will play some co-op in like Borderlands or something. No, I admit Borderlands is pretty much what we play co-op in because I love Borderlands. And we had some fun. Once we figured out, don't stop for longer than like half a second. Or, you know, don't stand around and chit chat. And, or don't get lost. So pretty much, we got lost. In a subway. Just going around in circles. Just chatting about what's going on. And... I will admit, I was pretty darn cold. It was the end of October, and I wanted to dress up. But I did get something to kind of keep me warm. Take a look. Oh, I could use flannel right now. I am so cold. Oh, no. Now, we got another fan clip. This one is submitted by James Franco Jr. at the Jam Master on Twitter. And I was pretty scared before this even started. And Tyson said something, and I misunderstood what he said. Take a look. That's not through a party until we're out of the city. Yeah, plus the disco ball will attract more. We've got a disco ball? And James actually wrote in his tweet, he said, I love the disco ball moment in episode 8 of Left 4 Dead with you and at RevT23. Thanks, James. We loved it too. Now, we're going to move on to episode 9, Torchlight. I had so much fun with this game. This game was my first experience with a dungeon crawler. And I gotta say, I kind of like it a lot. It's kind of up there in my, I like to play this. And it gives you a friend. So I naturally chose a lizard and named it Tyson. And I knew my lizard friend could go and do things for me or attack things. And I just could not figure out how to get it to do that. So instead, I did this. Check it out. Go oh, kill these things for me! Go oh, Tyson, kill things! And last, but not least, episode 10, The Saboteur. The game was pretty fun. Except when I was driving, which was all the time. Once I got the hang of it, it was fun. And I'm really bad at driving in games. Or driving in game in general. So bad, in fact, I also gotta apologize to inanimate objects that I run into. Trees. Walls. Cars. I had to promise this. Check it out. Nah, you know, uh, 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 I drive better than this in real life, I promise. Nah! Finally! We have our last viewer submission. This one from Hunter Block at Zombie Bacterium on Twitter. And Hunter said, "The racing was pretty fun." Uh, doing fine. Doing fine. Oh no, we're not. No, we're not. We're not crappy drivers. We're crappy in-game drivers. Hey, how's it going? Ride your ass. I am gonna ride it like a hemorrhoid. But he also liked my crappy driving as well. That was pretty funny. Well, Hunter, I agree. Check it out. Oh God, I have to drive a car. Oh, get in the car. I know. What I'm doing. <laughs> you would. Oh my gosh, I really suck at driving. Infested no, I can't drive. Like I hate these driving cars. Ah! Driving like a dog. Sure I hate a tree. Oh. I hate driving games! Well guys, that's the end of the Gaming Outside My Comfort Zone Holiday Special. I want to thank Steve Erdley, Adam Johnston, Hunter Block, and James Franco Jr. for your submissions. You can follow them on Twitter. You can check out the links below. You can check out Steve Boost on YouTube. Just check out his channel, VBoost. V Boost. It'll be in the description below. Check them out. And you can check out James Franco Jr. 
to Jam Master on Ustream on Sundays for Soul Sunday and Monday for The Breaks. And Adam Johnson, you can check him out at the Subdued Podcast. Links will be below. Also, The Breaks and Subdued Podcast can be found on iTunes. So go, download it, get them. They're awesome. Subscribe to the, them. Subscribe to Steve. Buy all the episodes of The Breaks and Subdued Podcast. Or just download them for free. And now I want to take this moment to kind of give you guys a little behind the scenes of gaming outside my comfort zone. What I pretty much do is I randomly select a game. I don't do any research about the game. I try not to watch people playing it, resolutely before being the exception. I, you know, other than that, I pretty much go in playing blind and just no background, no nothing. Just that way I can give you guys my honest reaction to what I'm playing. So these games are usually something where I want to pick it up and be like, ooh, I'm going to play this. These are games where I go, oh, uh, oh, I think I have a dentist appointment. Or, oh, I, my, I hear my grandmother on fire. Games I normally wouldn't play, but there are games I love to play. Like, I'm totally into Psychonauts and Borderlands. I said Overlord before, I can't get enough of that game. Kingdom for Keflings, or a world for Keflings. Maybe because I kind of like to tell people what to do. <laughs> Go, build this. You, dig that up. You, get over here, stop doing that. Outlaw Golf, or Legend of Zelda games, like any of them. Love Zelda. Uh, definitely Rock Band, a Guitar Hero. I love playing me guitar and singing. It's like combining two passions into one. Singing and playing a video game, I rule. Uh, definitely like playing any of the karaoke games, so like sing it. It's because, again, singing and playing a video game, awesome. Fallout 3. I started Fallout 3 and I really enjoyed it. I haven't quite finished the campaign yet, mainly because it's pretty freaking long. But also, I also played Portal. Still alive! This was a trial. Anywho, so if you like what you see and you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Now that the holidays are over, we're going to be releasing episode 11 pretty darn soon. So follow us on Twitter at sexylore27 and at redt23 for updates. You can also check out our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com and enter in Gaming Outside My Comfort Zone for all of your GOMCZ needs. And click that like button. With the new year coming up, I was thinking maybe you guys should get more involved. If you guys want to see me play more episodes, go check out other games, or you have a suggestion for me, just let me know in the comments below, or you can send me a tweet to at sexylore27 or at revt23 and use the hashtag GOMCZ. We want to make it kind of a regular part of the show where you guys send, you know, requests or want a question to answer. I actually like doing this. This is pretty fun. Hope you guys had an awesome holiday and you guys have a fantastic new year. Happy holidays. My name is Laura and I'll catch you next year. And we shoot everything on a green screen.